blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he wants Reynolds way downfield. Touchdown! That's caught. Josh Reynolds, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Now a second down and six. Now Wilson. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Yeah, boy, Charles, it is no doubt a passing league. We get that, but did you ever think we would see someone pass for 7,000 yards in a season? He just went over that threshold. Brandon, 7,000 yards means you've had a monster game each and every game of the year. If you throw for 350, that would hurt your average. That means you've made every throw, very few drops by your receivers. You've moved the ball effectively every time out. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Elijah Molden. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as like if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong, and this is going to wind up a safety. So a failure there to get rid of the football. I don't know in the end that it's going to matter much here with this game, but it yields another two points. Yeah, I think I'm with you. It may not matter a ton with the deficit that's already there, but like my old coach used to say, it sure ain't going to help. That <laughs> doesn't help indeed. Any return oh, that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A big play that time on the catch and run. 
and 10 at the 25 yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. To throw is Wilson. And Davis with it left side. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. That's a jet sweep. Wilson with a little pop pass. And he is going to lose yardage here. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. On third and goal, Wilson. Got a man open. It's Thomas. It's a touchdown for New Orleans. Michael Thomas, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is a bad blood that went into this one ahead of time, and maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them. But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. 118 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he will have a Titans first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Did you see that route the way that I did? I that, thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Yeah, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. They'll look to throw again. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone. And the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one.
Again, he'll drop the throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off near the 42. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. Escaping the pressure right. Uncorks one for Davis. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Now Wilson on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Here's second and ten. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Steps away to his left. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. To throw again is Wilson. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Continuing to keep their foot on the gas, and it, it looks like they're just having fun out there. They're loose, they're free, and they're enjoying what the scoreboard looks like. I'd have to say I agree with you totally. They're having a blast out there all game long when they throw the football. They're picking up nice chunks of real estate, significant yardage on just about every throw that they make, and there's another one there, and they continue to have that fun that you just talked about. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Forced out to his left. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here.